Pull up in murder case. I got a show today. It's all I'm trying to do. Hustle and motivate. Choppers are throw away. Hustle the overweight. That's why they follow me, huh? They think I know the way. All right, y'all. Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Hustle and Motivate the Podcast. I'm your lovely hostess with the mostest, Adas the Soul Star. Man, it's your main man, DJ Mr. Quickness in the building. Yay, yay. Hey, you already know what time it is. It's your boy T Stun. What's happening in? It's cracking in loud. Already, y'all. Listen, this is the show where our goal is to motivate you all while keeping the hustle alive. Now, keep in mind, y'all can listen to us anywhere you stream podcasts because we are there. Just search for Hustle and Motivate the Podcast. Also, we are on YouTube, y'all. So be sure to go to our YouTube channel at Creative Mind Society. I am so excited for this week's topic, y'all, because we're talking about where is your focus? Mm, mm, right, mm, we're talking mm, about being mm. focused, y'all. So, without further ado, let's go ahead yes, and get yes. into the rundown. All right, today we'll be discussing the topic where is your focus? We appreciate you for uh, this is a good topic to ADOS, by the way. Very, very, very good topic. Thank you. Uh, but first, we're gonna have the headline report with my man T Stunt, and uh, then you're gonna have the hip hop history with just myself, your boy, Mr. Quickness, here shortly, right? Yes, sir. Yo. I'm ready, y'all. It's a new week. Let's get it going. All Let's right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, headline report. You already know how we're going to do it. Uh, the top three this week. Uh, coming in at number one, we had Tiana Taylor confirm separation from E-Man. Am I, I don't want to say Iman Shumpert. Don't E-Man. mess his name up. They're my, my bad. Ooh, my ooh, bad. Ooh, ooh, Iman <laughs> Shumpert. I'm sorry. My bad. So, Tiana Taylor, she went to Twitter. Uh, not Twitter. She went to Instagram and made a little post and she was like, we kept y'all asses at the business ch- uh, at the group chat, LOL, which is the reason we've been able to successfully and peacefully separate without all the outside noise. She said the only reason I'm sharing this, uh, the part of the chat, is because the narrative is getting a little out of hand and it's unfair to all parties involved. I hope this provides some clarity for y'all. Okay, auntie, t- taking y'all back out the chat. Bye. So Shout out to her. Shots mm. fired. Mm. Letting y'all know. Mm. Stay out of grown people business. I like that, though. I, I love it because so many people With class. were... Yeah, because so many people were just speculating that it was all Iman and, you know, he was cheating and, he you know, he was fighting with this person and right. all that stuff. So I'm so glad that she clarified that. And just another reminder, stay out of grown folks' business. Good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. like, <laughs> earlier today, I, uh, either it was either today or yesterday, I did see, like, uh, you know, uh, Iman with somebody, like in a picture or something, but I'm like, okay, well, I didn't really know what the whole deal was back until just now, so I guess that's what was going on. Hey, they going through a little separation and, you know, it's... I mean, they're separated, but it seems like they're still close as they, they always cool. have been. She said they still mm-hmm. best friends. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, hey, I mean, separation is not a divorce, so let's see what... No, it's not. It's not. I mean... <laughs> Sometimes, oh, hey, oh, okay, okay, so they just separate. That's yeah, okay, they just okay. separate. They're not they're divorced. Separated. So sometimes that just means, you know, hey, we just need to take a little break from each right, other right. before let's we see, kill each see, other. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see how serious we think this thing really is. Can right. we go any further? Can we go any further? Right, right. Like, like, I don't can think I really mean You know, I, uh, man, all right. they're but, such a beautiful family, man. I was, I was certainly are. hated they if, if they if were not able to work. So I'm praying for them. I'm pulling for them. I hope that they can, you know, come to an agreement because they're just such a lovely family. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Iman, bro, bro, keep keep her. She's a keeper, bro. Just, just work, work it out, bro. It may not be Iman, though. So it's like, I'm on. Never Iman. know. <laughs> it might, you know, you never know. So hey. keeping them lifted up, though. Whatever. Oh no, no, no. We're gonna keep it lifted up for real, though. All right, coming in at number two. I don't know if most of y'all know or not, or y'all might be on the right, like sometimes I am. Uh, but they finally caught the fugitive, uh, Danilo Cavetti? Cavalcante. Cavalcante. Oh, Danilo so you know Cavalcante. Yeah, I'm not, uh-uh. My Spanish is <laughs> horrible, you know. Shout out to my Spanish teacher <laughs> for not doing her job. 
Uh, but who escaped uh, for not PA doing for not doing her? No, actually, no, I take that back. It That's wasn't her. Up. It was a him. It was a him for okay. him not doing his job. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, he did not do his job. He had students grade our papers, so no, nah, he didn't do it. Uh, but yeah, he escaped the prison uh in PA, but they finally caught him. Uh, it was a murderer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he, uh, he killed his uh was a girlfriend. He stabbed her like thirty times or something like that. It was awful. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, so they needed yeah, to find him. Yeah, yeah, you can't have a dangerous man out there like that at outside these outside the walls like that. No, nah, you don't need that. That's outside. the one that crab walk out of prison, y'all. Y'all remember? I don't know if y'all saw it on the news. He crab no, walked. No. Huh? He crab walked. Yes, that's how he got out. That's how he escaped. How you just crab walk out the whole prison like it's that? My crazy. Yeah, y'all gotta look for that video. It's oh, crazy. I surely am, boy. Hey, that's <laughs> that. Now that's some focus. For your that's ass, some that's um, some skills and focus for your ass, man. I ain't crab walk since I was in fifth grade. You but feel did y'all like I was over there? Y'all probably didn't see when they caught him. He looked so exhausted and tired. Like he looked like he gave up three days ago, like prior to them finding him, because they <laughs> found him after nine days. But I feel like after day six, he might have been really like, "Just come get me, y'all and the dogs. Come get me." Just come it's hard me. out here for a pimp. It's hard out here. I can't, I can't I mean, find you my running... way out. <laughs> You running wow. all this shit, so hey, <laughs> shout out, hey, shout out to, uh, shout out to the police system out there for catching him. Yeah, for real. They caught him. I know the people in PA are just they are so relieved. Those people that were in that area, I know. They're oh so yeah, relieved. oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they glad to have a murderer in that area. On the, right. On the loose. <laughs> yeah. On the lo what murder? Right. Murder who? Mm -hmm. But um, so topic number three, uh, it's a little sad one today. Um, I. Uh, so Miss Irish Grandstead, I hope I'm saying Grinstead. her name right. Mm -hmm. Grinstead, uh, singer R&B girl group of 702 died at the age of 43. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah, man, that's a sad mm -hmm. one. Uh, so really now sad. she's meeting. So she's up there with her sister because I believe her sister passed away. What was it like? Oh eight. Yeah, Orish Grinstead was her twin, and she okay. passed away in 2008, and she was only 27. So I'm a uh, huge fan of 702, of course. I've I've been a, you know, where my girl's at, you know, like that yeah, was. That was back I, I still play that song now. I still mm -hmm, play that song, mm -hmm, you know, that's mm -hmm, my mm -hmm. era. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I still so, play man, that song now, R. So, man, R.I.P., because 43, good man, Lord, is so young. Yeah, just such a young age, man, you know. Then he's no, like, Yo, what have I done, man, why? At wow. age forty three, I mean, hey, hey, she had a she had a good good career, you know. Hey, I just I just hey, yeah, but damn, she didn't even get to make it to fifty, and mm -mm, um, and her Chris. sister didn't even make it to thirty. And the mm. sister who uh, announced it today, um, their oldest sister, Misha, I believe it was, is her name, but she uh, she's the one who actually posts about it on social media. So man, prayers up to that family for real. Nah, for real, because yeah, you lost one in 08, now you losing one now. Right, Ooh, just mm. Lord have mercy. Yeah, prayers up. But yeah, y'all, that is y'all topic for this weekend. Thank you. All, I right, mean, for, for the weekend. All that good stuff. Yeah, we appreciate you, T Stunt. <laughs> Thank you, T Stunt. Yep, All right. Yep. Well, uh, well, I guess that leads it to me. So I am your DJ, my DJ, Mr. All Quickness, right. and I got some hip right, history now. for y'all. Uh, so. Uh, it's a lot this week. It's a lot this week. So, hey, guys, trying to rush me through. No, we're not rushing through. It's 50 years of hip hop. We're going to get everybody <laughs> in who need to be got in. Okay. All right. So, anyway, we're going to start from starting from last week. Uh, uh, September 11, 2023, man. Jay Z released his sixth album, The Blueprint, September 11, 2020, 2001. Dang, 2001. Wow. Oh, 2001. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That was, was a 11. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't really listening. I I heard of the album at the time, but I'm really listening to Jay Z like that. Yeah, that's that's the one that kind of put him a little over the top, right there, right over the top, right there. All right, so yeah. uh, I ain't gonna get that. Like I said, I'm not gonna get into the songs and all that. You know what I'm saying? Now let's let me stick All right, so Kanye Bris, uh released his third so uh, studio album, Graduation, September 11, 2007. Y'all, I know y'all remember oh, that. I remember that was a good oh, album. Yeah. I remember yeah, that. Of course, oh, y'all yeah. remember that. Of course, y'all remember Very that. Very good album. album. Oh, that was yeah. one of his best. Yeah, I will. I must say. Mm, yes, for sure. All right, so Busy Bone of Bone Thugs and Harmony was born September 12th, 1976. So happy belated birthday to Busy. How oh, busy Bone. is the Virgo? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, you know what I'm Shout out to the Virgos. Yes, yeah, yeah. Busy. Go ahead, man. <laughs> that boy be getting busy on that mic, though. 
All right. And uh, so MC Light released her second album, Eyes on This, September 12th, 1989. That's some hip hop history for Ooh, you right there. That is Shout out to MC Light. Now she's Man. hosted all this kind of stuff. She's like the background voice. She's always had that voice, though, period, anyway. Man. Man. She, yeah, she has. Oh, huge fan. All right. So this one for show sure can't leave out. Rest in peace and shout out to the notorious B.I.G. released his debut album, Ready to Die, September 13th, 1994. Man. Man. You know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have put that title though. You know, I'm, I'm not ready to die hey. just yet. Yeah. I'm gonna hey. pick that title. I mean life imitates art. And then the next album, it, his only and his only album, his second album, which was come on, uh, Life After Death. Is it? The only two yes. albums he get. You know what I mean? How ironic is that though? You know, that's no. how you know that he's even, yeah. that's how you know he was a special spirit, a special person. Like, you know what I mean? Because even Pac, you know what I mean? You see the video, I mean, you know, the um, I Ain't Magic video that he redid, you know what I mean? Like, just the making up, you know, of that video and him getting shot, then months later getting shot like he was in a Vegas club. I'm like, come on now. Mm -hmm. right. Come on now. Yep. Which brings me to my next thing. Uh, Tupac Shakur was also shot on September 13th. How mm. that? 1996, Man. two years later. So rest mm, in peace, mm, Tupac, mm. man. One of the latest, rest the greatest, in my opinion, to ever do it. Just all, all around, yeah. all around. Just you know, um, as you can, we don't even know how far you know he would have taken uh, the culture. But you know, you know, Biggie, Ooh. Biggie is cool, and what he what he's done for hip hop is cool. But we talk about Pac with a culture, you know, as all together. All right, so uh, in some crazy news, Old Dirty Bastard released his second and final studio album, Nigga, please. So 1999. Nigga, please. Yeah. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? ODB. That was, that you know was so about? ODB, man. Yes. That yes, was so yes, ODB. Yes. All right. LL Cool J also released his fourth album this past week in uh, hip hop history, 1990, on September 14th, 1990. Four studio album. Mama said, "Knock you out." I know y'all. Hey, I'ma say, "Knock you, I'm out. Say, knock you out." Hey. <laughs> all, right, all right, happy late, belated birthday to none other than Nas. Nasir, yeah, born yeah. September 14, nineteen seventy three. Shout know. out to Queensbridge. You know what I'm talking about. All right, Virgo, and Kid Cudi released Virgo. his debut studio album, "Man on the Moon: The End of the Day," September fifteenth, two thousand and nine. I just find this fun. I'm gonna just, just it's not to my kid Cuddy. Yeah, kid Cuddy. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that was um, that was that was the only album by Kid Cuddy. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna Which, lie. I don't know. I don't know. Have y'all ever seen well, the movie House the Party? Where, uh, Have you? Yeah. Oh, that's my movie. That's that's my the movie. The remake of House song. Party when Kid is Kid Cuddy's in there. He's like, and he's, I'm like, why they got Kid Cuddy playing so crazy? <laughs> I like, oh, I didn't. Right. See, I hadn't seen it. <laughs> you seen it? You mm -hmm. not you seen it? You seen not not the old House Party, not the old House Party. It's a, it's a remake. They did like I remake. Think, yeah, they, I didn't see the remake. And they, and they, oh, I, they, have, I think I have see. DC Young Fly in that one. I think so. Uh, yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, yeah. From today, because yeah. what, right, right, what happened, right, right, because what happened is, uh, what I ain't gonna tell the whole movie. But anyway, what happens is they they throw a party <laughs> at LeBron's house and they oh, somehow shit. get into a. A a a, a a a a scheme to throw a party at LeBron house and they invite all these superstars and whatever. Oh you know? Lord! <laughs> yeah, and Kid Cudi's there and he's just sitting on the thing like, yeah, what? You know what I'm saying? But then he's but he's with the Illuminati, y'all. So anyway, I ain't gonna. Oh <laughs> Lord! Oh Lord! Okay. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Okay. So like I said, going back, this is the, some history, history, history. And if you don't know this song, you, I really, I don't, I really don't think you should, you should. They shouldn't even let you in hip hop if you don't know this song. Sugar <laughs> Hill Gang released the, the song Rapper's <laughs> Delight September 16, 1979. 1979, September 16th, y'all. Come on now. We're going to really shout out that one. Yeah, now. Uh, so I say this to say that if you don't know nothing but that line, I'm cool with that. <laughs> if if these times you don't know nothing but, nothing but those four bars, I'm cool with that. But at least right. know that. You don't have to at know least group know name, right. like nothing. If, if right. you like, if you like, if you say, "Ain't never heard that song before," mm, 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 that would really shock so, me. So, yeah. Something, something wrong. Like obviously, I mean, you want really hip embedded, hip, embedded hip hop, and you hip -hop. don't stop a rocket to the bang bang. Either that, or you, uh, either that, or you know, your, your parents and them, they just, you know, parents just don't understand. You know, they 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 stopped you from listening to hip hop. So, right, right. I and get it. I get it. A lot of parents do. A lot of parents do. All right. So, last and final, man. Happy birthday. September 17th, 1966 to none other than the greatest entertainer 
Doug E. Fresh, y'all. Happy hey, birthday. Hey. Fresh. Happy birthday. The ben human Virgo. I'll call if you didn't know, box. this is called a show, y'all. All right, it's been another moment in hip-hop history with your main man, DJ Mr. Quickness. I appreciate y'all, you know, sticking around and listening to some of the good stuff that we talk about and, uh, you know, getting enlightened. Already. Thanks so much, Quick. We really appreciate that. Hip-hop history is so important, especially if you are, if you are a part, part of the culture, if you love the culture, if you appreciate the culture, anything like that, you rep the culture, you need to know right. about hip-hop history. So thank for you, sure, Quick. For sure. You're welcome. All My right, y'all. DJ. So I, <laughs> Already. So listen, y'all, this is the topic that we're talking about tonight. Where is your focus? Let me tell you, this topic is... Uh, as they all are, right? So important to me because they're personal. And it is basically stems from something that I have dealt with myself. And so one thing that I would like to discuss are affirmations. If you know anything about me, you know that I'm very into affirmations and meditation. And so one of the most important affirmations to me that I speak on a daily basis is I focus on what I can control. That's one of my most important. Um, <laughs> Say it to yourself every day. <laughs> I focus on what I can control because I'm someone who used to always, you know, get frustrated and upset like so easily, like when things don't go my way. And I had to realize that one, the way life is, a lot of times stuff ain't going to go your way. Like they always say, if you want to make God laugh, tell, tell him your plans, plans right? Yeah, butter. <laughs> so it's like whenever things don't go your way, you can't focus on the negative. You can't focus on what's not going your way because when you do, then you're that's what's gonna cause other negative things to manifest in your life. You're only gonna start seeing the negative things. That negative stuff that you're focusing on, you're gonna get more and more of that negativity. So it's important right. to focus on what you can control. Like, okay, this bill is due. I may not be able to control control um, you know, this bill being due, but what I can do is maybe make payments toward that bill. I may not be able to pay all of it, but I'll do what I can. Um, and then also you want to just find other ways to make things happen because again, that's life and things happen. And so to me, the most important thing is to focus on the things that are within your control. Because when you focus on the things that are within your control, then honestly, you won't go crazy. <laughs> um, you won't be frustrated. You won't be mad. You'll be more uh, level-headed, if you will. Um, and that's what I've experienced. And so I wanted to impart that wisdom on everyone who is tuned in to our show. I want you guys to have a blessed week, a wonderful week, but a focused week. Focus on the things that you can control and also focus on those things that you want. Because when we focus on what we don't want, again, we're going to manifest more things that we don't want. But when you focus on what you do want, you're going to start getting the things that you want. Another that's example. The, that's the big one. When we were in the store today, <laughs> we went to Walmart mm -hmm. and we we were hungry. You know how you shop and you hungry too. So <laughs> we did our shopping and then we stopped at, um, babe, where we go? Uh, the subway. Sub, subway inside of Walmart. So we're in the subway. Now, I really wanted some cookies. I was looking at the man pull out the cookies, <laughs> but I knew we wasn't going to spend no money on cookies because we didn't need them. Right. Um, but the man, he was, he was uh, I said something about how good those cookies looked. And he was like, you know what? He said, you know you want one. I said, you know I do. Tell me why that man, he said, you know what? I have so many cookies already. I'm just, I'm going to hook y'all up. He gave us seven macadamia nut cookies. And those are my favorite cookies <laughs> from Subway. Won't, Won't he do it? it? Just gave us mm -hmm, seven cookies mm -hmm. because I was I was really focused on them cookies. <laughs> and I said no, I wanted man. them cookies and I got those cookies. Man, so my point man. is it could be something that small. That's how powerful the mind is. The mind is so powerful, y'all. Like I truly believe God gave us the gift to be able to manifest the life that we want. So we need to stop focusing on the negative and all the bad stuff mm -hmm. and focus on the good, focus on the good that we want. I focused on them cookies. Like I'm focusing on <laughs> like, millions, oh, millions and millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm focused on it. them too. And uh, don't be surprised when it happens. So <laughs> it may not no. happen as fast as those cookies, but it's going to happen because I believe <laughs> it. So, so that is my uh, wisdom for tonight. Where is your focus? And I'm praying that it's somewhere positive and that is on things that you can control. Anything outside of your control, do not let that make you crazy. Right. That's right, all I got. Right. <laughs> Man, that's good. 
Thank you. I, I love it. I love it. Hey, it's hard to stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it is because really really stuff is. happens mm-hmm. all the time like in the words of les brown life can hit you on the blind side it will hit you on the blind side mm-hmm. uh you know stuff happens all the time um a good friend of mine and i just want to you know shout out my my friend erica just lost um a very close relative to her her uncle just passed away the other day you know she got a phone call uh after midnight that he passed so what i'm saying Mm. is life will hit us on the blind side and there's nothing that we can do in a lot of instances but the things that we can control let's do that let's focus on what we can the things that we cannot control um only thing you can do is just do the best you can in the situation that's the serenity prayer it is and that's 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 it's it's, and it's huge and i think uh you said something you know profound earlier which is uh Focus on what you want, you know, and uh, focus on, you know, you know, what you, you know, your, your goals and your dreams. And mm-hmm. like, and like you said, don't, don't, don't focus on the negative. I always focus on what you can do, what you're able to do in the moment and what you're not, you don't, don't have to see, the, know the, know, know what's down the road, uh, know mm-hmm. how you get there. But like you said, you're going to, don't let, don't get derailed by this, you know, or sidetracked by, you know, life and whatever's going on. And it gets hard though. And that's what we're here for to help try to motivate y'all, you know, to, uh, you know, Pick it up, you know, because you know we'll tell our stories and you hear us. Hey, man, I, you know, I, I feel been I there. The <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, been there, done Mental that. Goodness. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to, you know, what I'm saying it is. It's just hard to stay focused. Hard to be positive, and you know, yeah. in a world full of negativity. And that's what right, right, say right. that. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier to focus on the negativity than to focus on the positive in a negative situation. Sure, it comes sure. naturally as humans. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It's like we oh, naturally go to the oh, negative. I can't, I can't, I can't, and it's like, well, hey, just it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. You can. You just gotta focus yeah. on the can and not the can't. And lean on your loved ones. That's it. Um, right. I know I had a lot of pride. Well, a lot of us out here, we 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 don't make pride enough money to help. Devil. We don't have enough money to be prideful. Okay, if you need help, say you need help. It's okay. We all need help from time to time. That was something that I had to learn. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you. I'm glad you made it through that. And that's. I tell people, you know, uh, that's what I tell my wife. I'm. Not, I'm such a. I'm such a help everybody. Uh, because we all need help. <laughs> we yes, just we do. do. We, we do. do. We all and, need help. Yeah. And and if I'm in a position to help, whether I like it or not, God put me in a position to be able to help. And whether I like it or not, that I mean, I. It's like saying, you know, I see someone drowning in the pool. Do I have to save them? No, I don't have to save them. But I got two legs and I can. I think that's probably what I should do. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we hope that you guys really get something from this episode. Um, I want to give a shout out real quick to my niece. Her birthday was today, uh, the seventeenth. So ha- very right. happy birthday yeah, to my niece right. Trinity. Hey. Happy birthday! Hey. Yes, hey. yes. Hey. happy birthday, Mr. Pooh. Had to give her a shout out. Um, yeah, and um, I don't have anything else, so I'm just asking you guys to follow me at Ados the Soul Star anywhere. That's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's TikTok, Ados the Soul Star. And um, I'm planning to bring back for your mind, y'all. Um, so no worries. We're doing hustle and motivate, but free your mind with the soul star. We'll be back. And um, I don't know if y'all remember her, but you might. Um mm-hmm. KY designs by KY. I don't know. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. So mm-hmm. um I've been in talks with her. So let's see what we're cooking up in the future with oh, FYI. All right, all right, all right, all right. Get that pasta right. rolling. Get that pasta rolling. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, uh, I since we giving birthday shout out, that's that's gravy. Uh shout out to my niece. Her birthday was yesterday to Leah. Uh man, Miss Autumn Star. Shout out to her. her birthday Aww, was yesterday. Happy birthday. And my daughter Deshan, uh, her birthday is tomorrow on the 18th. So uh, which will be Monday when you get guys listening right, to this. So yeah. it'll be her birthday. Uh, so if you see her out there, yeah, make sure you slide some money or something. You know, if you know. I know that's right. <laughs> that just a few you dollars, right you know, just if you can. Dollars, <laughs> All right, and uh, y'all can follow me at Tight Eyed Boss on Instagram, uh, and uh, Twitter. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm trying to get my tweet. It's not even Twitter tweet, anymore. Tweet. It's X or whatever. It's whatever. X, man. I mean, X everybody now. still say Twitter, but they mean it's just got the X as the symbol. I, but I don't know if the company's X. I don't even know. I don't it's even been care. Twitter I, for too long, man. Right. It's like, I, yeah, yeah. like, hey, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's just like it's like the mall in Fort Worth. Uh, everybody say, we say Town Center, but they say LaGrand Plaza. Like, we still know yeah, it's yeah, Town yeah, Center Mall. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Town Center, y'all. We, we, right. you know, like Red Bird, I'm, huh? Exactly. Yeah, Southwest yeah, Center right, Mall. Right, right. Yeah, come on, man. You're going back to, now we're going back to Red Bird. Exactly. 
exactly. Yeah, we so, going back. Yeah. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave uh, uh just leave this. I, I I know everybody's getting ready for this Bob Marley movie that's coming out. I hope y'all got ready. See, it's gonna be. I don't even, I didn't even know if it was a Bob Marley coming out. See, I, I, saw, I Bob Marley. Yes. thought I saw something bad, but yes. I was like, okay, maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, I want to see that. I didn't. Yeah, even it's gonna know. be great. It looks like it's gonna be great. Look the trailer up when y'all get off of here. Uh, and um. I, I read somebody posted earlier today and something that he said and his son, his son said it was last word before he passed away was son money can't buy your life mm. so understand that and uh let that sink in for you for mm. this week real heavy you know money can't buy your life so enjoy life yeah. and uh don't make to say make the money don't let the money make you that's right oh real quick before we go quick i don't know if you've seen it because we're talking hip-hop um, have you seen the hip hop documentary, The Ladies in Hip Hop? I forget the name of it, but it's like it's produced by MC Light and the host of others. But Terrence and I, T Sun and I, we we saw it and it was it was awesome. We enjoyed okay. it. Oh, yeah. What is it on? Hulu? What's it on? Uh Netflix, I believe it was. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. Yep. Get to so it. I think they did a good job with the with the old and the new, you know. I okay. think they did a good job. Okay, yeah. great. I can't wait to look at it. Ladies in Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? Shout out yeah. to them. Sure. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so we yeah we need you to check that out. So you know, uh, hey, yeah. fifty years of hip hop. Yeah. Right, right. Hey, I'm gonna check out. <laughs> yeah, 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 we sure not gonna leave the ladies out for sure. All right, y'all. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, you can find us anywhere you listen to podcasts. That's Spotify. That's Apple Music. Uh, anywhere you listen to podcasts, we are there. Um, also, if you have any questions and you would like to reach us, of course, DM us anywhere at H and M the Podcast. Or of course you can email us at info at F excuse me, info at cmsmusicgroup.com. I'm getting all my emails uh misconstrued. I know they're just running into each other. <laughs> so many and so yes. many jobs, girl. Go too many jobs, girl. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, until next time. Peace. <laughs>